In this video, I'm going to talk about what I do before I list an item on eBay. What I want to uh, list on eBay today is uh, a Transformers toy that I bought at a garage sale last year. It's brand new. Uh, it's in a box, never been opened. And so the first thing I do is I look at the completed listings for for similar items just so I can get an idea of how much they were able to sell for. And also, I want to, if they were able to sell at a good price, I want to see what they did. Uh, so maybe I can uh, get ideas for, for when I write my description or the way I list this product. So I'm just going to go in the search box right here and I'm just going to type in the keywords for us. Okay, so this is the current listings, but I want to see the completed listings. So I just go down and I go to the left hand column and where it says show only completed listings. Uh, this is where I click for completed listings. Okay, so what I do, I just look at the pictures uh, to see if that's my product on there. Uh, these are not. Okay, so this one looks like my product. Uh, I see that it sold for $35. So what I do is I click on it. And this is what I do when I click, when I look at the, the listing. This is how I analyze it. I look at the category. Okay, because there's more than one category uh, that you could list this product in. And depending on the category, you may be able to get more views. So I see this guy listed in the toys category. Okay, so I see that uh, the seller is in Australia. So it was sold for $51 Australian dollars or $35 US. And I also look at his description. Okay. Was there something about his description that compelled people uh, to buy from him? So maybe I could uh, copy some of his ideas. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on it for, for this example because, because of time constraints. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to look for a few more of these just so I can get an idea of what the average price is uh, for this type of product. Okay, I don't see any on this page, so I'm going to go next. And uh, I see one right here. It looks like the product I'm selling. Uh, he sold it for over $700. So I'm going to click on that. Just from looking at all of these, this looks like it's... Uh, a rare item for the fact that I don't see too many transformers selling for a few hundred dollars. Okay, so uh, again, this seller is based in Australia, sold it for one thousand uh, Australian dollars or US seven hundred dollars US. I uh, look at it. Okay, so right now, what I'm doing is I'm looking at. Why was this guy able to sell it for over $700 US? Was it because this is an extremely rare version of the product I have? It says here it is a rare, no rub signed edition. It has no box flap. Okay. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time on it today. Uh, it's something I could analyze later. Uh, for now, for this example, I just want to keep uh, looking for other similar items and just so I can see what the average uh, selling price was. Okay, so here's another one. It sold for
Okay, and here's another similar item that sold for $24.99. So, so far, through the quick research that I've done, uh, it looks like I could sell my product for around $25, uh, or even a little higher. But right now, $25 looks like the average price. So after I do this, what I do is I look at the current listings on eBay for this, just so I can get an idea of uh, how much competition there is and you know how many people are selling the same product at the same time. So to do that, I would just uh, click on here. Okay, so my computer is a little slow today. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to take too much time uh, doing this. So right now I'm going to skip to the next process, which is uh, to take a photo of my item. Okay. And then after that, what I would do is uh, write a description on a, and what I use is a Word document. So as you can see, I've already typed it up here. Um, under star screen that's new the, the transformer uh, I've already uh, typed down what my starting bid is going to be $24.97 I'm going to place a buy now price of $29.97 and here's all the possible auction titles I'm going to use uh, these two I just copied from a couple of successful listings that I looked at um, just so I can get an idea of what my title will be uh, this is my title right here that I'm going to use. And below here, I've, this is uh, the description I'm going to use. I've, this is my headline right here. It's just the name of the product. And in brackets, I say, never been opened. I want to emphasize that. And I also put uh, my shipping and my refund policy on here. Uh, you don't have to because during the listing process, eBay will ask for that information anyways, and um, bidders will be able to see that. But you know, I like to be clear about everything, so that's why I put it on the description. And down here, this is actually the top track. Uh, before I wrote my description, I, I, I did a brainstorm of the benefits and the futures. And this information I incorporated into my description. 